y'all welcome to freedom makers i'm amanda and today i'm going to do a video that was requested a few days ago several of you who watched my beauty berry jelly recipe video um, asked me to show you how to identify a beauty berry bush what it looks like and different uses of that so i'm going to show you that now right behind me here is the beauty berry bush that sunshine and i picked from to make the jelly in the previous video we have one other one on the property and it has not been picked over yet as you can see, it's almost as big as I am. I'm 5'3", so I mean, it's pretty big. We've had this one for about three years. I'm thinking it's three summers ago when it started popping up and it just grew up rogue. So here it sits and I'm gonna show you that other one now. So this is a beauty berry bush that is just growing up rogue in the middle of our lumber pile. This is where like scrap lumber and construction materials end up. And um, you can identify a beauty berry very easily, mostly because of these beautiful berries. Look at that marvelous color. They are so pretty. Um, just to eat them raw, they are not very tasty to me. They're more like styrofoam, the texture of them. I'm going to smush one for you guys so you can kind of see. Okay, so the juice is kind of clear. That is the some seeds in there. What gives the jelly its color is the skin. So this is just a marvelous way to um, dye fabric or color your jelly. Once cooked, it is very, very sweet, and that jelly tasted very much like um, a rose petal jelly, if you've had that before. It's very florally, but has an undertone of like this berry taste. And so this is what they look like up close, and this is what the bush looks like. You'll also notice that around um, the stems, there are like these, it's almost like a chunky bracelet every inch and a half or so of these beautiful berries and that's how you identify them i don't know of any other bush that grows berries quite like this now we're inside with our beauty berries these have been triple washed as you can see i've got them in my stock pot you want to cover these with water and bring it to a boiling these are floating at the moment once they've cooked down they will sink and they will have lost all of their color that beautiful color will be in the water then you want to lightly mush these. You want to be kind of gentle. I'm using a plastic potato masher here so that I don't smush the seeds. If you smush those, they're very bitter. Now I'm straining these. I have a paper towel lighting my strainer so that nothing goes through. This can be fed to your chickens or put in your compost pile. And then all you're left with is this lovely, beautiful, very rich, fragrant, and delicious juice. I also decided to go online and look up some extra information for you guys just so that you could have more of a reference. And so what I found is that throughout history, um, and I'm looking at garden.org, I'll list a link so that you guys can read the actual article that I'm reading from. Um, but I did see where throughout history they were dried, the leaves of the beautyberry tree have been dried and used around animals, livestock, horses, so that if um, horse flies, deer flies, mosquitoes anything like that is an issue in your area you might can find these and dry the leaves and then use them around your animals it also works really great around people so we'll take a leaf and just like rub down with it if we're going to be out here um, when mosquitoes are coming out and they don't ever mess with us so um, it's a great thing to have just kind of rough up your arms in it and um, carry some leaves around with you and it does the trick really great historically these have been used by Native American tribes. The roots, leaves, berries, and stems were used as the base for various teas and concoctions. Root and leaf tea was used in sweat baths for rheumatism, fevers, and malaria. Just a root tea was also used for dysentery and stomach aches. And the root and the berries were used for colic and as a treatment for a wide variety of common ailments. So it doesn't specify there. And then the bark from the stems and the roots were used to treat itchy skin. It doesn't say how, like if it was made into a paste or, or whatever, but um, it does say that it can be used for that. We only have used them in the form of a jelly and for mosquito repellent thus far, but there are other uses. I encourage you to look up those and search those out if this is something of interest to you. Or if you have this berry bush, it's good to know different ways that you can use what's already in your yard. I have been told that they are very easy to cultivate, however the two that we have here were just, I guess from bird droppings, they just came up rogue 
and so we just enjoy them and use them and in the spring I'm planning to plant a few more because we really enjoy them they're beautiful to look at in the spring they have lovely white flowers that smell amazing and they're just very beautiful to look at and then Throughout the summer they turn into berries and in the fall is when you harvest them. So check them out and I hope you enjoy them as much as we do. Thanks you guys so much for stopping by. I'll catch you next time. Bye.